My name is Brandon Dickey. I'm the program director here at IU Health, Ball Memorial Hospital Internal Medicine Residency. However, prior to that, I was an associate program director here for about 12 years. Prior to that, I was a resident. Prior to that, I was a medical student in this system. So I've been involved with this program now for the last 20 years. The value of the education of residents, which I feel is very um, highly prioritized at this program, we're very well listened to, um, feedback is tolerated very well, good and bad feedback. I think one of the best things about the program here is that our program director, Dr. Dickey, is a very receptive person. He cares a lot for his residents. He's always open to feedback for the program and is always willing to make changes according to our feedback so that while we're here during our three years of residency, we have the best experiences possible. Attendings are uh, very supportive. The faculty uh, pays attention to their concerns and whenever there's a change that needs to be made, it happens. Basically everything made me really want to come here. So when I was a medical student and I was evaluating the different internal medicine residency programs, one of the things that stood out to me about this program was the level of autonomy that the residents had. The residents here are not simply scribes for an attending. The residents here are not simply order machines for all the things that the attendings want to do. The residents here are the primary physicians for the patients. There's always a level of uncertainty when you're new in residency. Am I going to be too free to make my own decisions or am I going to be um, too controlled, for lack of a better word, in terms of not making my own plan? Um, here they're very good about letting you come up with your own plan and allowing appropriate educational discussion about such plans. I like the level of autonomy that we have at the hospital here. Even as interns, we were able to come up with our own plan and if we had a logical reason for it, then the attending would definitely be like, sure, you know, you can try this out. And if there was something that we were kind of off on, they would help us guide us in the right direction. There's always a senior around, there's always uh, an attending around if you feel like you don't know something or you don't know what to do next. Uh, but for most parts, we are working pretty independently, but you, knowing there's always someone watching your back, uh, it's what makes you feel comfortable making those decisions by yourself. The fact that we have a university on one side of us and a medical school on the other side of us means that we get to educate on all walks of the medical path. We get to have multidisciplinary learning activities with medical students, which our residents can partake in. In addition to that, those medical students are learning alongside nursing students, pharmacy residents, occupational therapy, speech therapy students, and through this we get to learn how medicine is practiced through all lenses. We see everything from young healthy adults with simple problems to adults who have never seen a physician in a, a number of years. A lot of our patients come with all of the diagnoses together so we get very comfortable with the bread and butter diagnoses if you will. We, we get to see the heart failures and the COPDs and the pneumonias, but we also get to see the more rare diseases. One of the unique aspects of our program and something that brought me here and has kept me here is our smaller size and our family feel. It's fairly cliche to use the term, we feel like a family, but there's no other way that I can put how you feel when you're a part of our program. The fact that we come from such different cultures and such different traditions and we somehow manage to work nicely as a team, as a family, is what's really probably my favorite thing about this program. I think my favorite thing and wonderful thing about this program is the camaraderie that we all share. This is a smaller program. I have nine people in my second year class and we all get to develop a really good working relationship with one another as well as with our faculty. Cost of living here in Muncie, fairly manageable. Uh, we can get back and forth from home to work in five to 10 minutes. Parking is free. You don't have to deal with a lot of the big city traffic. However, if you want big city amenities, for example, NFL football, NBA basketball, arts and sciences, 
We are only about a 50 minute drive from Indianapolis, so you can have advantage of the big city amenities without the big city hassles. It comes with a very competitive bonus package for any type of moving expenses, rent, mortgage, whatever else. And you also get a phone which is paid for by the program. So you have uh, unlimited call, text and everything and you can store all your work information on that phone rather than having to store it all on your personal phone. And we have a gym here which is accessible to you and your spouse free of charge. So we're allotted a certain amount of money per month for food in the cafeteria and Subway as well, which is really nice. Another thing that I find excellent is the ultrasound training here. Uh, in the ICU, we are taught at the bedside how to use the um, ultrasound machines, and we're also taught a program called Sonosim, which is a program where we actually use a fake ultrasound and learn how to manipulate and learn what different parts of the body look like under ultrasound. As a medical student, evaluating different residency programs. I love the idea that I could talk with my program director each and every day. We have an open door policy. I interact with the residents every day and we talk about things. And I want to maintain that connection with my residents here at our program.